Rocket Chassis, Dargy Power Plant, Valvoline Racing Oil, Brandon Shepard Racing. Number six, P. Jose Parga on the racetrack. Out there with a the high side hustler, Jason Fager. Fager out of Bloomington, Illinois. And the Rocket Chassis, Pro Power Power Plant, Cheap Cars, Digital Copy Systems, Titan Steel, Up Race Fuels, Floyd's Waste Systems, the 2010 Dirt Car Summer National Champion, Jason Fager. First time around for Parga, a 13.224. Time by Jason Fager. Going to take it at a 12. 0.967 for the 25. At the line for Parga, still second quick at a 13.224. Fager at the line, 12.967. His first time around going to be quicker. MS Concrete, Carl Chevrolet, the sixth time. Summer National Champion, Mr. Smooth, Billy Moyer. Out there on the racetrack with the number 11, Justin Reed at a Camp Point, Illinois, and the Curtain and Construction Discount Shop Towels Country Market, number 11. First time around for Moyer in the 21. Going to turn the quickest at a 12.815. For the number 11 of Justin Reed. Fourth quick at a 13.335. As Moyer at the line. This time by Quicker at a 12.753 for Mr. Smooth. At the line for Justin Reed. Fourth quick at a 13.275. So Munzecker out of El Paso, Illinois. And the RJR Transportation Kingdom Farms Quick Car Racing Products Pontiac RV number 24. So first time around for Paul Stubber. A 13.201. Ryan Unzicker, third quick at a 13.012. Paul Stubber, fourth quick at a 13.201. And Ryan Unzicker going to take the third spot away. Oh, Ryan Unzicker, the quickest at a 12.793. Ryan Unzicker, new. Wow. On the track, and we are green here. Gundaker going to break on the back straight away as he will dive down to the infield in the number 11. Not sure what's going on with the G-Man. This time, first time around for the 55, a Colin Alexander going to be 13.221 for Alexander. Second time around, a 13.495 for Alexander. Getting Systems set to Incorporated, Badger Land Plumbing, Peterson Aluminum, number 13. First time around for Scheffler, A. As he crosses the line this time, Scheffler going to be fourth quick at a 13.142. And the 13 of David Yeager, ninth quick at a 13.639. Off of four for Scheffler, still fourth quick at a 13.142. At the line for Yeager, ninth quick at a 13.162. But how about Ryan we'll Race Monitor on your phone to get live timing and scoring here tonight and every night from the Dirt Car Summer Nationals. This time, first time around for Adams. Going to be a 13.4 flat for Russ Adams. Going to be quicker at a 13.026 for Schmidt. At the line for Russ Adams. Second quick at a 13.4. This time at the line, Schmidt trying to be quicker at a 12.991. Holmes, number 75, out there with the number 11D of Brian Dively. Dively out of Springfield, Illinois, and the checker flag graphics, VP Racing Fuels, Cozy Dog Driven 11D. So at the line, first time around for Billy Drake in the 75. Going to be quickest at a 12.9. Brian Dively at the line, fourth quick at a 13.576 for Dively. This time Drake at the line, quicker at a 12. Point nine five one at the line this time for Dively as he gets the checkered fourth quick at a 13.416. And the Thomas and Express, Bob Cullen Racing, Kids Castle, Cheap Cars, KBC Graphics, number three, that's a Brian Shirley on the racetrack. 
Trivers trying to beat 812.951. This time at the line, white flag. First time around for Schlink. The quickest at 812.94. Number three, that's a Brian Shirley quicker at 812.680. At the line, this time for Schlink. Can he take it back? He won't. Second quick at 812.932. Shirley at the line. Gonna take the quick time, 12.680. For Frankfurt, Illinois, and the Chicago You Pick Apart All-Star Performance. Storage Squares, second S Racing, 99 JR. Spatola joining us back on the tour, and Frank Hankinus Jr., who went on his side last night, came all the way from the rear to a top five in the 99 JR. Spatola, first time around in the number 89. As they are getting their first lap in here off of turn number four. Spatola gonna be the quickest at a 12.516. How about that, a 15.5, no, 12.516 for Spatola. He will out of the racetrack now, Bob Gardner out of Washington, Illinois, in the Oberlander Electric Gray Bar Kaiser Manufacturing Driven Racing Hole. Number 4G, the Washington Wizard, Bob Gardner, out there with, I don't know, but I'm feeling a little sick. I got Weaver fever. Kevin Weaver, the Flatland Flash, and the Jimmy Johns, Jay Morris Construction Longhorn Chassis. First time around for Weaver, eighth quick at 813.317. At the line this time for the Washington Wizards, seventh quick at 813.122 for the 4G of Gardner. Weaver at the line. Third quick at 812.682. Out there with the number 18 of Shannon Babb, the Moequa Missile and the Petrov Towing, CGI Piping and Fabrication. Train heating and air, hunting for hope, the Four time Dirt Car Summer National Champion Shannon Babb. First time around for Huff, this time at the line. Going to be 13.421. City Shan Raceway, quicker at a 12.501 for Shannon Babb. Shannon Babb going to turn the quickest time of the night so far. And second time, not quicker, but in a 12.501. Quickest overall, Shannon Babb. Construction, Tennyson Brothers Sheet Metal, Extreme Graphics 51. Out there with K-Rob Kent Robinson out of Bloomington, Indiana. In the MB Custom Chassis, J. Dickens Power Plant, Jones Oil Company, J.B. Salvage, number 7R. At the line for Carpenter, second quick at 13.22. Onto the racetrack, the number 10 of Cameron Pearson, not Robinson, out of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. The Victoria State Champion, Cameron Pearson. In the number 10, going to be third quick for the Australian at a 13.252. Deep. Octane Race Products, Dixon Racing Shocks, Johnny Boston General Contracting, letter K, out there with the number 25 of Chuck Hummer. Hummer out of Lions, Ohio, on the Rocket Chassis, Hendron Power Plant, Service Drive Solution, All-Star Performance, Pack Racing Springs, number 25. The time to be a 12.501 by Shannon Babb. First time around for Carpenter at the line, fifth quick at a 13.610. Going to be sixth quick at a 14.614. Carpenter at the line, fourth quick at a 13.347 for Carpenter. And Hummer at the line, six quick at a 14.570. Fourth attorney at law, Steve Schmidt Auto Group, Kaiser Manufacturing, TNC, I Transportation, Penske Racing Shock, Strange Oval, Signs and Designs, Zero to 60 Energy Drink, number 33. First time at the line, this time as Robinson tackles the cushion of the Farmer City Speedway Raceway at the line, this time for Robinson, K-Rob. Eight for K-Rob as the 33 of Manville gonna be a 12.936. K-Rob at a 13.72, his second time around. 
And Manville going to be a 13.319. So that's at 30 Dirt Car Lake models as a dog trying to get off the chain here tonight in the Kryptonite Chassis, Mulvane Motorsports Apex Roofing Company. Number 61 out there with the number one of them, Mike Mataragas, this Sycamore, Illinois racer, and the Mike Kors South Lake Auto Mall, Etchberger Trucking Incorporated, number 1M. For Mataragas, fifth quick at a 13.114. Alan Weiser, seventh quick at a 13.260. At the line for Mataragas, fifth quick at a 13.045. So there you have it, Shannon Babb going to be the quickest at a 12.501. Quickest overall here in Dirt Car Late Model Qualifying as Shannon Babb will take the quickest. Second quick is going to be Mike Spatola with a 12.516. And Ryan Unzicker, third quick from qualifying session number one at a 12.739. So how about it, Shannon Babb from Moequa, Illinois and the Petrov Towing, CGI Piping and Fabrication. Donnelly Trucking, Cubular Ultra Oil, Train Heating and Air, Pearl Energy Group, Hunting for Hope, the four-time Dirt Car Summer National Champion, Shannon Babb, again, quickest at a 12.501. As with that, I'll turn it over to the voice of the Farmer City Raceway as the street stocks get ready for hot laps and opening ceremonies to follow. As with that, I'll turn it over to Tyson Graves. Wisconsin in your final starter. Last night's feature winner, Gordy Gundaker out of St. Charles, Missouri. As with that, heat race number one of three for the Dirt Car Late Models comes to life as it's Unzicker and Moyer leading us to the green of the Farmer City Raceway. Down the back straight away, Unzicker going to show the way early. Fager and Moyer going to go side by side here for a second. Now Moyer going to try to hunt down the 24 of Unzicker for the race lead. Down the front straight away, still the 21 as the caution is out. The number 13, a Jaeger in turn number two. David Yeager will go around the Performance Roofing Systems Incorporated, Badgerland Plumbing, Peterson Aluminum. To rock number and roll, heat race number one of three for the Dirt Car Late Models. It's Unzicker and Moyer. Take two in heat race number one for the Dirt Car Late Models. We're back underway at the Farmer City Raceway. Down the back straight away. Unzicker going to lead us down the back straight away. Moyer going to go to the inside in 21. They're side by side for the race lead. This time of a turn number four. Moyer to the inside. Unzicker to the outside. At the line, it's Unzicker in 24. Moyer going to go to the bottom. They're wheel to wheel. Hoosier to Hoosier. Down the back straight away. Moyer going to take the lead. Unzicker to his outside. Trying to get around him this time. Up a turn number four. Moyer jumps to the lead in 21. As he has it over Unzicker, Fager, stubber than Shuffle, your top five. Now Unzicker to the inside, down the back straight away. He'll try to search for the race lead, can't get it done as Moyer will drive away from your field. Fager will run third, stubber fourth, fifth, Schiffler. Amateur number four, Parga gonna follow with Jaeger, then the 11 to Reed, and the number 55 running out your field of Colin Alexander. So this time of a turn number four, it still continues to be all Billy Moyer showing the way in 21. Over the 24 of Unzicker, the number 25 of Jason Fager, the 31 of Paul Stubber, the 15 of Scheffler, Moyer, of course, taking a break with us in the number 21 for this whole week and joins us back here tonight, still trying to chase down 99 wins here tonight, trying to get to 100 as Babb has not tied him at 98, but this time of a turn number four. Four to go for Mr. Smooth, the Billy Moyer. Over on Zicker, who continues to run the center groove of the racetrack. Phenomenal run by him last night at the Macon Speedway. Jason Fager, also a good run last night, running third here. Paul Stubber, your top four, top five, Scheffler. But down the front straightaway, three laps down. Three laps to go, excuse me, for the 21 of Moyer. Jason Fager, right there within striking distance on the 24. This time, two to go for Moyer. Jason Fager gonna get racy here for the runner up position down the back straight away. The battle for second is on. Fager gonna go to the inside of the 24. White flag up in the air for Moyer. Down the front straight away. Jason Fager on the move. Trying to get around Unzicker here on the bottom. The battle for second is on. But this time at the line, race fans gonna pick up the win. The number 21 of Billy Moyer, victorious in heat race number one. Unzicker second over Fager. And then the 31 of Paul Stubber, the 15 S of Scheffler. And there you have it, picking up the win in the Batesville, Arkansas, on the Billy Moyer Victory Chassis, Clemens Power Plant, Miss Sea Valley Transportation, All Make Collisions, Henderson Motorsports, MS Concrete, Carl Chevrolet. Your winner, Billy Moyer, in heat race number one.
Heat race number two, gonna roll onto the racetrack. Opie, Mike Spatola will roll off the inside of row number one. The Manhattan, Illinois racer in the BND Chemical. Stevens Performance, TNS Heating and Cooling number 89. Outside row number one, Brian Shirley out of Chatham, Illinois in the Thompson Express, Bob Cullen Racing. Kids Castle Learning Center number three. And 11D of Brian Dively out of Springfield, Illinois. Heat race number two, fires down the front straight away as it's Spatola and Shirley leading us to the green. Brian Shirley gonna lead us early. How about Kevin Weaver jumping to third here in uh, the B12 machine down the front straight away. Shirley, Spatola, Kevin Weaver up to third. Frank Heck and his junior wide your top four. Here comes Spatola down the outside of the racetrack and Weaver to his inside. They're side by side for the runner up position. This time of a turn number four, Weaver trying to get second, can't get it done as it's still Spatola. Down the back straight away. The Flatland Flash up to second over Spatola as her side by side for second down at the line. Brian Shirley still leads it at the line. Spatola holds off Weaver for second. Down the back straight away, Spatola to the outside of Weaver. They're still door to door there for the second position. Frank Heckenis Jr., your top four, top five side by side with Billy Drake and Rusty Schlink down the front straight away. It's still Shirley Spatola. One and two with Weaver. Then Frank Heckenis Jr. here, top four, top five. Billy Drake on the bottom. He'll get it in the exit of turn number two. Ash Schlink right behind him. This time of a turn number four. Weaver still trying to get around Spatola here for second. As it's still Shirley, Spatola, Weaver, Heckenis, Drake. Rusty Schlink to the inside of Drake. Down the back straight away. That's the battle for the top five. This time of a turn number four. Brian Shirley, though, still showing the way. Six in, four to go. Mike Spatola still runs second. Kevin Weaver third. Frank Heckenis Jr. fourth. Followed by Billy Drake in the number 75. This time of a turn number four. Everyone going to go to the outskirts of the Farmer City Raceway as it's still Brian Shirley on the bottom of the racetrack. Mike Spatola right around the outside. Watch out, Billy Drake. Off the racetrack just for a little bit. Rusty Schlink trying to close in on him and get the top five, but can't get it done. As it's still Shirley, Spatola, Weaver, Hackiness. Down the back straight away. Dively off the racetrack in the number 11D as he'll dive off the racetrack. This time off of turn number four. White flag going to go up in the air. One more to go for Brian Shirley. And Spatola, Weaver, Hackiness. Rusty Schlink gonna go to the inside. He'll have fifth of the line over Billy Drake as he'll throw the slider down the back straight away. He'll have it, but this time of a turn number four, picking up the win, Brian Shirley in three ass. As Shirley takes it over Spatola, Weaver, Heckenes, Schlink, Drake, Gardner, Schmidt, and Adams. There you have it, race fans, your heat race winner at a Chatham, Illinois in the Rocket Chancy Durham Power Plant, Thomas and Express, Bob Cullen Racing Kids, Castle Learning Center, Cheap Cars, KBC Graphics, give them a hand, your winner, Brian Shirley. Etchberger Trucking Incorporated, Tech World number 1M. Outside, we're number three, all the way from Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, and the Rocket Chancy Durham Power Plant, Case Construction, Tritech Lubrications. Pertex Fluid Syst Transfer Solutions, HDD Racing, number 10, Cameron Pearson. Row four to the inside, it's going to be the Malikwa Missile, Shannon Babb and K-Rob, Kent Robinson, getting set to lead us to the green. Final heat race for the Dirt Car Late Models underway. Kent Robinson off the racetrack in 7R. Not a good start for K-Rob. He'll get it back onto the racetrack. And Kent going to come to a stop and draw the yellow. Caution is out. So K-Rob drove off the racetrack, comes to a stop to force the yellow. And Kent Robinson. Everyone will get their original starting position back if we do not complete a lap. So it's Bab and K-Rob. Ava turn number four. Take two in heat race number three. We're back underway. Now it's Freddie Carpenter off the racetrack in the K. Watch out as the number 33 of uh, Huff will spin in the bottom of turns one and two. Carpenter in the outside. Rough start to heat race number three. As Dean Carpenter were all outside, row number two. Here we go. We're set to rock and roll. Bab and Kent Robinson. Take Four in heat race. Number three for the late models. We're underway. Shannon Bam going to show the way down the back straight away. Ken Robinson to his outside. They're going to go door to door, wheel to wheel for the race lead. Not for long. Bam going to show them how it's done. Out of turn number four. It's Bap Robinson, Manville, and the number 10 
of Cameron Pearson running there in the top four. Now Mike Mataraga is going to go to his inside their door to door for the top four. Mataragas and Pearson side by side. Mataragas will have fourth at the line over Pearson down the back straight away. Alan Weiser has the top six this time of a turn number four. Kent Robinson trying to reel in the number 18 of Shannon Babb this time of a turn number four. It's still Babb at 18 over K-Rob. So caution is out once again. Heat race number three. We got a car off of the back straight away. It's the number 10 of Cameron Pearson, the Australian racer. The Melbourne Victoria Australia racer. Cameron Pearson off the back straight away. And the caution is out once again. Shannon Babb, Kent Robinson, Tim Manville, Mike Mataragas, and Alan Weiser, your top five. Out for turn number four, the Moequa Missile, Shannon Babb. Leads us back to the green, eight to go. Heat race number three for the Dirt Car Lake Models. Manville and Robinson side by side. Robinson to the lead down the back straight away. Shannon Babb right there as well in the number 18. Kent Robinson going to go to the inside. They're door to door down the front straight away. Here comes Kent Robinson, but it's still Shannon Babb at the line by half a car length. Over the 7R Robinson as he goes to the inside, down the back straight away. Mike Mataraga still runs third, followed by Ellen Weiser and Tim Manville, your top five. Then they're door-to-door -door behind him. Carpenter versus Carpenter. Dean Carpenter will have sixth over Freddie Carpenter. Down the back straight away, Kent Robinson and Shannon Babb duking it out here for the race lead as Babb continues to show the way right around the outside. The number 7R, Kent Robinson on the inside. Here comes Mike Mataragas. Mataragas has third. Watch out, Robinson off the front straight away. Here comes Mataragas to the inside. They're door to door there for second. Down the back straight away. Mataragas on the move as he marches on the bottom of the Farmer City Raceway. Here comes Mataragas. Kent Robinson going to hold him off as he continues to run second. Alan Weiser, your top four. This time off of turn number four. Three laps to go for Shannon Babb. Alan Weiser continues to run in the top four, top five. The number 33 of Tim Manville, followed by the K of Freddie Carpenter, the 51 of Dean Carpenter, and the 33 of Huff with the 25 of Hummer running on your field. This time, Shannon Babb, two to go. With Kent Robinson, Mike Mataragas, Ellen Weiser, Tim Manville. Mataragas still on the inside of Kent Robinson. Now caution is out as you have Huff in turn number four in the number 33. So Huff going to draw the yellow here. The Tom's Borough, Illinois racer in the Rocket Chassis Pro Power Power Plant. A to Z painting trophy time. Joe's Automotive. So the one to go signal this time at the flag stand. We are set to rock and roll. Shannon Babb shows the way with Mike Mataragas, who's been trying to get around Kent Robinson here on the bottom of the racetrack for multiple of la multiple laps. To a conclusion here, two laps to go. Shannon Babb, the number 18. Leads us back to the green. Kent Robinson going to hold on to second. Mataragas and Manville side by side down the back straight away. That's for third. Give it to Mataragas. Now Kent Robinson going to get racy here for the race lead. Down the front straight away. It's still Shannon Babb with Robinson. Mataragas and Manville side by side there for third. Down the back straight away. Manville holds on to third. This time off of turn number four. Mataragas to his inside, but picking up the win. And heat race number three. How about it? Shannon Babb wins over Robinson, Manville, and Mataragas and Weiser. Sell your winner out of Moequa, Illinois in the Rocket Chassis, Clements Power Plant, Petroff Towing, CJI Piping and Fabrication, Donnelly Trucking. Number 18, give them a hand. Your winner, Shannon Babb. As with that, that does it for all heat race competition with the Dirt Car Late Models. Up next, the Pro Late Heat Races. And after that, we'll jump into last chance qualifiers for the Modifieds and the Late Models, followed by the Street Stock Heat Races. As with that, I'll turn it back over to the voice of the Farmer City Raceway, Tyson Graves for the Pro Lates. And the Rocket Chassis, Durham Power Plant, Case Construction, Tritech Lubricants, HDD Racing, Pertex Fluid Transfer Solutions, number 10. As we are set to rock and roll, top three will advance to the dance. Everyone else hoping for a transfer position here tonight, as it looks like. Top three will punch their ticket 
straight into tonight's 10,000 to win feature. Off of turn number four, it's Perga and Drake leading us to the green. 10 laps, last chance qualifier for the Dirt Car Lake models underway. And a one and two is going to be Parga and Drake. One and two. Dean Carpenter to the inside. There are three wide in the middle of the pack. Here comes David Yeager to the outside of Bob Gardner. They're door to door. Watch out. Carpenter got a little sideways there. Down the front straight away. It's going to be Parga, Drake, and Carpenter. One, two, and three as Yeager holds onto the top four. Then the number four, Gia Bob Gardner runs fifth down the back straight away. Dean Carpenter going to get racy on the bottom of the racetrack. Trying to get around Billy Drake down the front straight away. It's still Parga running away by a half straightaway lead over the 75 of Billy Drake, then the number 57 of Dean Carpenter. This time of a turn number four. Bob Gardner still running in that top four, top five. David Yeager, here comes Freddie Carpenter. Frast Freddie on the move. Trying to get around Huff here on the bottom of the racetrack as they're door to door there for the top six. Here comes Freddie. Off of turn number four. It's still Parga with Drake in the 51 of Carpenter. One, two, and three. Fourth is Gardner. Fifth is the 13 of Jaeger. Here comes Fast Freddy. Two is inside. They're side by side down the back. Straight away for second. And they're side by side for the top five. Give it to Freddy Carpenter. Carpenter will slice and dice his way to the top five here in the letter K as he is on the move. The Kryptonite chassis trying to race his way into the show. The number 51. I have Dean Carpenter and the 75 of Billy Drake side by side there for second. Down the front straight away. Give it to the 75 of Drake. Over the 51 at Carpenter, then the number four, Gia Bob Garner, who still can use a run fourth. Fifth, Freddie Carpenter, this time of a turn number four. It's still Parga in the 6P. Over the 75 at Billy Drake, the 51 at Dean Carpenter, still in the bottom of the racetrack, the four, Gia Bob Garner. Your top four, top five, Freddie Carpenter. Watch out, Jaeger going to spin it in the middle of turns one and two. So the caution is out. Seven laps in, three laps to go here for this last chance qualifier. So caution is out once again for the number 13 of Jaeger. Highest driver that is present in final 2017 Dirt Car National Points will get that fourth and final provisional here tonight. We're set to rock and roll. Jose Pargo leads us back to the green. Billy Drake to second. How about fast Freddie? Freddie Carpenter to the third and final transfer position. And the letter K started 12th. He is on the move as he is up to third down the front straight away. Carpenter to third at the line. With two laps to go, caution is out as we got trouble. Turn number two. So it looks like it may be Chuck Hummer. And the 25 and one car around, can't see the number on that one, so caution is out as we have trouble in turn number four here with the Dirt Car Lake models. We shaved a lap off the scoreboard there, so Freddie Carpenter will not have to worry about it as we did complete a lap. He will have third. How about Carpenter as we're set to rock and roll? Your field, only two laps to go. We're back underway in this last chance qualifier. Down the back straight away, it's gonna be Parga, Billy Drake, Dean Carpenter gonna muscle his way back into that third and final transfer position. This time of a turn number four, wave with the white flag, one more to go for Jose Parga. As he continues to show the way, the 75 of Billy Drake still second, Dean Carpenter and Freddie Carpenter, it's the battle of the Carpenters. Who's gonna hammer their way into the third and final transfer spot, but picking up the win, the 6P of Parga. Over the 75 of Drake at the line per race motor. Freddy Carpenter will have third. And a photo finish between him and the 51 of Dean Carpenter. How about that? Freddy Carpenter gets that third and final transfer position with the 75 of Billy Drake and picking up the last chance qualifier out of New Berlin, Illinois in the Rocket Chassis, Dargy Power Plant, Valvoline Racing Oil, Brandon Shepard Racing. Number six, P, give him a hand. Jose Parga, your winner in the last chance qualifier. As with that, race fans, we're going to jump into an intermission. Head on down there, grab your official merchandise of the Hell Tour before we advance from here. And, of course, tonight a very historic night. As I mentioned to you earlier, the 28th visit to the Farmer City Raceway for the Dirt Car Summer Nationals. Mike Marler winning a year ago, Jason Fager in 2016, Dennis Herb Jr. in 2015, Billy Moyer with the most wins. Tom